Welcome to this webcast. In this webcast, we'll show you how trying to get the max version of IE is not as simple as everyone thinks. Using this query, I'll demonstrate what the problem is and how to solve it. Let's execute this query and see the results. We quickly can see that there are multiple versions of IE9 and IE10 installed on this PC. Now let's see what happens when I set the max file version and execute the query. Now most people would expect IE10 with the greatest file version to show up first, when in fact it does not. It will show you IE9, and this is all due to the fact that this is being compared as a string, not as a number. So what can we do about it? Well, I actually remembered that my friend John had done a blog post on this subject, so let's go get his blog. When you read John's blog post, you'll notice that he's talking about Outlook, but this applies to IE as well. Let's look at the function. To summarize the function, it will parse out a value based on a delimited string. So going back to my SQL query, let's see how this works. So using the function, I've been able to determine that the max file version is version 10. Now this only gives me part of the story. I now know that the max file version is version 10, but how do I get the real full ma max version? We'll look at that next. So this query is basically the same as the other query. You'll only notice that one major difference is, is that there's an extra select statement in place. This select statement creates another table, which will be used by the main query. You can see that we're still querying for Internet Explorer and the same PC. Additionally, we're comparing the file version to the version from that temporary table that we've selected above. Let's execute the query and see the results. Using that edit, we can now see that we're only getting the IE10 versions. We also notice that the last line, number 9, has the maximum file version. Now let's see what happens when you use the max version against this query. We are now getting the max file version for this PC. I hope you found this webcast useful. It shows you how using a simple function allows you to get the true data that you're looking for. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.